What is MLS? A service that provides multiple listings. It's an app. What MLS is the kind of internal database uh, for real estate agents to post listings for sale. What is a pocket list? A pocket listing is a property that is for sale but isn't on the MLS. The PLS has now become the first private platform that allows agents to now market and search this information exclusively within the agent community. The National Association of Realtors rolled out a new policy called the Clear Cooperation Policy. The intent of this policy is to eliminate the growing number of pocket listings. If you want your agent staying in the workforce, you do not want to ask them to have a pocket listing or a private listing unless you understand this new policy. PLS sues NAR over their Clear Cooperation Policy. Clear cooperation harms PLS because it deprives PLS of the critical mass of listings necessary to expand and grow into a threatening competitor to the MLSs. MLS is the most powerful tool for buying and selling homes in the US. The MLS has no competition today, but did you know that it had a competitor once? That competitor was PLS, or the Pocket Listing Service. PLS.com was young, but it proved to be a formidable foe for the NAR-controlled MLSs. It was established in 2017 to create a centralized repository of pocket listings. It found success quickly. Within the first few months alone, it had 1,500 agents, $1.4 billion of listed properties, and covered all 50 states. By 2020, it grew to more than 20,000 agents and billions of dollars in listed properties. In a healthy business environment, PLS and MLS could have coexisted and flourished. But according to PLS, the National Association of Realtors feared the PLS. The NAR decided to squash PLS by adopting a policy called the Clear Cooperation Policy. This policy practically made the MLS mandatory for all NAR MLS affiliated listing brokers. This policy crushed PLS. Listings were removed from PLS and submitted instead to NAR affiliated MLSs. Agent participation in PLS declined, and PLS's access to funding dried up. PLS sued. PLS sued the NAR and three of the biggest MLSs in the US. This is one of the biggest antitrust lawsuits against the NAR. If the PLS wins, the stranglehold the MLS has over US real estate transactions could be shattered. And because the MLS is central to agent commissions, this single lawsuit could eliminate 6% real estate agent commissions forever. This video is brought to you by Hoseo, America's most advanced home buying and selling platform. Americans across the nation are saving on commissions with Hoseo.com. You can too. Check out Hoseo.com on the web or the Hoseo mobile app. PLS is launched. Okay, so we're all familiar with multi-listing service, or the MLS. MLSs have had a chokehold over the US real estate market for more than 50 years. This is no secret. In fact, the NARS and MLSs control over the US real estate market is considered absolute. But most MLSs are based on old technology. MLSs don't allow listing agents any privacy to test out the market, and the MLS has no real competition. The founders of PLS did not like this. They noticed that agents were looking for an alternative way to market their exclusive listings. These off MLS listings are also called pocket listings. To provide an alternative to the MLS, they founded the Pocket Listing Service, or the PLS. Agents liked it. The platform grew to have 20,000 agents in just three years. The founders of PLS. PLS was founded by four real estate rock stars. Mauricio Amansky is the founder and CEO of the agency, a billion dollar brokerage. So we started the agency with the idea of redefining real estate. I felt that there was a lot of uh, uh, ancient practices in real estate and that there was an opportunity to re redefine it. Amansky has sold the most homes in the country priced above $20 million. In 2016, Amansky helped Hugh Hefner sell the Playboy Mansion for $105 million the biggest deal in Los Angeles then, according to the LA Times. Amansky has also represented the Walt Disney estate and residencies owned by Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, and Prince. 
If you're a fan of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, you're probably familiar with Amansky's wife. No, you sicko! No, stop! No, you stop! 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 Don't ever touch me stop. like that again, okay? okay? You'll be sorry, stop. okay? Kyle Richards. Richards' net worth has been pegged at $100 million. Amansky partnered with Chris Dyson, James Harris, and David Palms, all from the agency. Dyson has sold many luxury properties in Los Angeles. Harris and Palms are celebrities in their own right. They starred in Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles for seven seasons. The great thing about a partnership is that when one of us is down, the other one is there to pick him up. It is easy to understand why these mavericks chose to compete with NAR and its MLSs. They didn't want to be part of the obedient crowd. They were willing to take on the Goliath and start something that could potentially rival the MLS. You think this can work? Right now, we've got nothing to lose, right? We have nothing to bloody lose. The clear cooperation policy. Off MLS listings, also called pocket listings, were a problem for the NAR. According to the lawsuit, NAR and the defendants gathered in San Francisco in 2019 for a convention to take action against pocket listings. In November 11, 2019, NAR approved the clear cooperation policy. Within one business day of marketing a property to the public, the listing broker must submit the listing to the MLS for cooperation with other MLS participants. The clear cooperation policy instantly made the MLS mandatory. Let's say you put out the sign and you wait 10 days, or you put out a coming soon sign. That's illegal. The clear cooperation policy instantly made the MLS mandatory. If realtors violate the clear cooperation policy, they face hefty fines. Stella MLS in Florida imposes fines up to $15,000. Miami MLS fines can go up to $7,500. Repeated violations of the clear cooperation policy can result in the realtor losing access to the NAR-affiliated MLS. PLS and the pocket listings were a real threat to the NAR-affiliated MLS system. Instead of letting the MLS stand on its own merits, the NAR forced listing brokers to use the MLS via the clear cooperation policy. The clear cooperation policy instantly made the PLS much less valuable, and it all but killed pocket listings. PLS sues NAR. The clear cooperation policy is the primary point of contention in this fight. PLS.com alleges that NAR's policy is a conscious commitment to a common scheme to prevent competition and exclude PLS from the market. On May 28, 2019, PLS sued the NAR and three of the biggest MLSs in the country. California Regional MLS in California, Wright MLS, covering Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Washington DC, and West Virginia, and MRED MLS, covering Illinois. The case was filed in the court of the Central District of California. NAR fights to get the case dismissed, but fails. On August 13th, 2020, NAR and the defendant MLSs filed a motion to dismiss PLS's allegations under the Sherman Act and California's Cartwright Act. In their defense, the NAR claimed that PLS were withholding listings from the people, thereby controlling them. At one point, NAR states, it is PLS, not defendants, who is seeking to reduce consumers' access to information about the residential property market. NAR also contended that PLS had failed to allege how NAR's policy has harmed buyers and sellers. On February 3rd, 2021, Justice John Holcomb agreed with the NAR and the MLSs. He dismissed PLS's lawsuit. In February 2021, PLS appealed that decision to dismiss. The US Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit agreed with the PLS and reversed the district court's judgment. The Ninth Circuit Court found that PLS.com adequately alleged antitrust injury by alleging a group boycott in which the clear cooperation policy prevented PLS from gaining foothold in the market and made it virtually impossible for new competitors to enter the market, leaving agents with fewer choices, supra-competitive prices, and lower quality products. In September 2022, the NAR and defendant MLSs requested the US Supreme Court to review the decision. On January 9th, 2023, the US Supreme Court rejected NAR's antitrust challenge. So, the case will go on to trial. Why should you care? This case is bigger than the PLS, and there are two big reasons why you should care. 
Number one, the clear cooperation policy practically made the NAR affiliated MLSs a monopoly. MLSs have no competition. They do not have to compete on price or innovation. Realtors have to use these MLSs because they have no other choice. Now you can see why realtors pay big fees for outdated technology. Number two, the MLSs provide NAR with absolute control over the market and the ability to maintain the 6% agent commissions. According to the US Department of Justice, NAR's policies hurt US home buyers by reducing competition, and NAR uses the MLS to enforce its policies. This includes hiding the buyer agent commission from being displayed publicly, allowing agents to filter listings by a commission offered, and limiting access to lockboxes to only agents who are members of the NAR affiliated MLSs. Some of these policies have been reversed, but the MLS is how NAR enforces almost all policies, including the clear cooperation policy. Isn't that against the law? I am the law! You violate these policies, you pay big fines. Or worse, you lose access to the MLS. NAR also enforces the buyer broker commission rule through the MLS. This rule requires sellers to offer buyer agent commissions. In two bombshell lawsuits, home sellers are suing the NAR for billions of dollars for requiring them to pay buyer agent commissions. Check out our other videos on those lawsuits in the description below. What happens if PLS wins? If PLS wins, the NAR-affiliated MLSs will be required to compete both on price and on technology. Realtors and American home sellers will have multiple options to get their properties listed, and there would be significant pressure to reduce the 6% agent commission. Who do you think will come up on top? Will PLS win, or will the NAR crush PLS? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel.